And we're live! Hey guys, welcome to the stream, and welcome to Save and Raid 2 Dungeons! Great to see you, great to see you guys all here. And uh, welcome back! Welcome back to, to this stream. It's been a hot minute, but uh, good to be here. If I was going to make a triumphant return to streaming for any reason, this is a good reason. What's that, Hairball? Thank you, Hairball. Hey, R4. Hey, Cortland. Uh, Seek. Uh, who else is in here? Geneva. Lady Ginga. Big D. You guys are awesome. Everybody, hope you realize that. You guys are all awesome. You are magnificent people and wonderful friends who I'm proud to know in here and proud to... Uh, Proud, proud to have you as part of my group on here. Hey, Haggard, uh, Crunchy Snacker, Code Wolf. Um, hey, thanks for the call. Follow Cortland and Steve Boo. Um, and Ar Archim Havoc, thanks for the resub. Eve Alicia, thanks for the resub. Welcome in. I'm not going to be able to keep up with these the whole stream, but uh, we're in the just chatting segment right now. So, hey, welcome back to Save and Raid 2. For anybody who hasn't been here before, I'm Old School Jay. Um, I don't play dungeon crawlers. Uh, they're kind of a new thing to me, so this is going to be fun. Um, I did take a little bit of a break from streaming, so glad to, glad to see you guys all here. We are somewhat back, somewhat not back. Um, I know, I'm just waiting for, uh, oh, there they are, the, uh, save games to trickle in right now. Um, but yeah, I had a, had, had a whole pile of stuff going on, including, uh, work stuff and life stuff and just being swamped and totally busy and whatever, so I had to take a bit of a hiatus from streaming, but, uh, I do intend to come back after, after saving raid. Um... I do intend to, uh, you know, be, be back for sort of regular streams the next couple weeks. Uh, so that's going to be good fun. A um, couple things to announce while I'm attempting to uh, download these save files and do everything at the same, same time. Um, I have a couple of, uh, of uh, redemptions, incentives, whatever you call them. First of all, my most popular channel points redemptions have been converted over to incentives for this stream. So uh, show off a CRT is back, show off a microphone is back, and uh, show off a big box is back. They are uh, they are donation incentives right now. And here's a couple that uh, I didn't uh, didn't announce anywhere, but I'm just put, slotting them in right now. If we get a hundred dollar donation, now let's make it a an eighty dollar donation during the stream. At any point, somebody somebody keep track of this because I'm going to have have a hard time seeing this come through. If we get an $80 donation, I'm going to end my segment five minutes early. We're going to walk over to my kitchen, which is over there, and we're going to roll out the pizza dough that I'm making for tonight. How about that? I'll take you guys with me in droid cam. We're going to roll out some pizza dough, make a nice little uh, pizza crust. So there we go, 80 bucks for pizza dough rolling, do rolling incentive. And um, you guys can pool that together too if you want. Um, and uh, yeah, the other the other one that uh, I um, did mention this to Bogle, it is on the incentive thing. If we reach five hundred and uh, sorry five thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars as a total stream uh, total um, save and raid uh, monetary amount. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and uh, download these save files and navigate Windows as stupid file manager and whatever at the same time. Anyway, if we reach five thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars, this is on the Tiltify page. I will, um, I'll make a tutorial. I'll make a uh, video tutorial with, with a text tutorial of how to use compressors, limiters, and, uh, noise gates in OBS to, um, uh, to, uh, you know, to tune up your audio settings, make, make, just, just make your audio sound good. So I'll, I'll do a whole tutorial on how to, like, route audio and use gates and limiters and stuff in OBS. Hopefully we'll hit that. I think we will hit that, because I wanted to do that for a while. Um... Sorry, I'm kind of ignoring chat. Uh, Arnie69Gamer, thank you so much for the $50 donation here. Let's switch over. This is a short stream, so let's switch over to our Game with Cam already. And I've got the uh, save files up here. You know what? Fuck it. Do it live. We're doing it live! Um, just the browser window for now. I also forgot to activate my MIDI controller, so I'm doing this all by hand. There we go. Uh, so here's the uh, save and raid save files. These are the ones from Seacross. Thanks for that, whoever just park themed. And we got a hype train. I never get hype trains. I'm proud to have a hype train for this 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 particular event. Okay, let's copy these save files. Paste them into Legend of. Paste them into Legend of Grimrock. Great to see you guys all. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am sorry I can't keep up with chat right now. I'm trying to do a whole bunch of things. And hey, we just got a hype train. Wow. That's awesome. You guys are awesome. All right. What time it is? 
is it? It is 4.01 according to my clock here, which I have in front of my face. Um, if I'm missing, if I miss a donation that ends up being an incentive, like if I miss a show off a microphone or show off a CRT, guys, start shouting it in chat, because chat, chat is over here on a laptop. I can't necessarily look at it while I'm streaming. In fact, I'm going to zoom it in a bit. Sound effects are on. Of course they're on. Um, we're getting close to Havoc's uh, green and blue lowlights and hair milestone. That's going to be pretty cool. So remember, guys, unpublished, unpublished incentive. If anybody donates 80 bucks, we'll, we'll call this. We'll call it five minutes early. We'll go over and roll, roll out my pizza crust. Um, whoops, you guys didn't see that. Uh, you, 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 you saw nothing. Um, okay. You know what? I can close Photoshop here. Too many things open. I was scrambling around at the last minute to get rid of this. Uh, or get rid of, get ready for this. Um, let's see what do we want to open here. That can be. Well, that, that's fine. All right, here we are. Are you guys ready for some Grimdark? I mean, Grimrock. Hey, Four, welcome in. Nothing means nothing. I am not too cool, Mike. Um, let's do this. And I was trying to figure out a good way to capture this. I'm just doing a window capture right now, so it should pick it up. Come on. OBS. Will you please? Will you please pick up the window OBS? Grimace. Uh, no. Um, okay, there, there we go. All right. Let's do this. Also, it looks like my, uh, I don't know if my events list and my, um, my, uh, alert box are working. We're gonna have to see. Um, I wasn't able to test those out. It looks like the, the, the banner down there is working, so that's good. And we are currently at $4,128.70 here. And remember, unpublished donation incentive. If we can get that in there, I'd love it, but it doesn't matter. Um, if we get an $80 donation anytime during the stream, we'll go over there and roll up my pizza dough. But, uh, yeah. Let's see where we are. I was trying to watch, follow along with Seacross's stream. Um, so let's see where we are here. Grimlock level six, trap, difficulty easy. We've got our whole party. And here we are. That looks suspicious. Okay, first of all, what does this say? Um, I don't actually know. This is the mage's entrance. Not 100% sure what we are... Uh, um... What we're doing here, actually. Uh, let's see, where are we? We're, we are here. So, uh... Hey, thanks for the follow, Cold Wolf. That's unexplored. No description. Balls of Fuego. Uh... I don't know what that is. I'm so prepared for this. One of Dragon Gem's captions renamed me Middle School Jay. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a good one. Um. Okay, there's a pit. I s what was that? That's a torch. Uh, sometimes taking these torches seems to... Let's give it to Seacross. No. Something's ominously sounding here. Oh, hello. We're going to live on floor six forever. Um, yeah, okay. I If somebody has a... Whoops. Well, now we're down on floor seven. That was easy. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I see that show off a box. Let's uh, just uh, do this. So, um, let's see if I can figure out the magic system here. Was, was this bad or good? Like, am I supposed to go on advance to floor seven? Or is that putting us back? Tips and tricks, there's a walkthrough. Yeah, angry bird. I know, right? Uh, let's, uh, let's see. That's a fireball, I think. There we go. Yeah, suck it. Whatever you are. And I'll take that. Bad. We needed to finish floor six. Okay, maybe I'll just reload here. Um, but in the meantime, Havoc redeemed sh show off a big box. This is going to be really, really short. Um... 
But here, here's one. Here's a big box. We've got Space Adventure 2 with Bud Alzer, Buzz Aldrin and Dan Mc, uh, Tom McDonough by uh, Knowledge Adventure. And this is a hexagonal big box. Look at this. Yeah, here we go. A lifetime of edutainment for the whole family. And uh, inside, we've got, uh, got our CD-ROM. Got our manual. We've got The Adventures. Imagine starting up your latest knowledge adventure on CD-ROM, only to find yourself. Uh, we've got uh, a registration card. Uh, sorry, no, this is a free issue of Family Computing Magazine. Look at that. Got a registration card. We've got this ad. And they said space was the final frontier. Virgin Interactive Entertainment Catalog. Aw, yeah. Uh, here you can win a computer game. Check that out. Yeah. Win a free computer game. Uh, here's, the, here's, here's a piece of paper from Knowledge Adventure. I don't know what this is. Honestly, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> this is the fastest I've ever done to show off a big box. Um, here's a limited warranty. Help. Where to get it. When to get it. This is from Virgin. Here's a, holy shit, look at all this stuff. This is so good. Here's a mail, mail-in rebate coupon. Save $5 on something. On any adventure series title below. Aviation Adventure, 3D Body Adventure, 3D Dinosaur Adventure, Science Adventure 2, Space Adventure 2, and Undersea Adventure. And uh, introducing our family of multimedia adventures. Your multimedia-based family. They, what? Oh, they're, your multifaceted family. That's clunky. Um... And here's Experience Magic Theater with Popcorn. Yeah, so there, there we go. Fastest uh, show off a Big Boxer team ever. I will post better pictures of this on, di on uh, Discord, but uh, that's Space Adventure 2 with Buzz, Buzz Aldrin and Tom McDonald. Here's what the CD-ROM looks like in case anybody's wondering. And it's a hexagon. It's a hexagon. It even has the save $5 on this adventure sticker on the front there. And uh, you might notice a price tag in the upper right. I paid $2 for this. At a thrift store. It was worth it. Oh yes, and there may have been mention of 3D Dinosaur Adventure in there. This is Dinosaur Adventure 3D. I don't know if they're the same. Anyway, all right, let's get back to saving and rating. Uh, so we're going to reload our game so that I don't fall through the floor. We have to we have to defeat floor six. Um, okay, so let's see where we are. We, we are here. So nobody's explored down this way yet. So I think I'll just do my usual like strategy of these things and just explore down here. By the way, I do not play dungeon crawlers. Um, not that I have anything against them. It's just I have no experience with them and I'm probably not very good at them. So, <clears throat> wow, my voice cracked there. Forgive me on that. I should have gotten something to do. Okay, run, 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 run. Ow. Ah, ah, there's nothing down there. There's nothing, there, there's something down there. Um, okay, Haggard leveled up. Here, let's, let's level up Haggard. I guess you get leveled up by being smacked in the face by fireballs. Um, let's see. Uh, so we definitely want to put points into... We've got four skill points here. I don't know if these pool between the characters or are shared, so let's put... One into armors, one into swords here, and uh, Strongbad leveled up here. I guess that's Thea, BSR. Um, she can have another point in missile weapons. Okay, we've got four points for Thea here. Um, there's a fire magic scroll down there. Okay, noted. Fire has splash. Okay, also noted, so I should probably get out of here. Uh, let's put it in. Right now, let's just dump them all into missile weapons, and Haggard is still in the process of leveling up, so we can go back here and put more into swords, because we like swords. There we go. And Haggard learned par parry. Nice. Um, should I be quick saving? Maybe I should quick save. I'm going to look at my controls for a minute because I forgot what quick save and quick load are. Okay, it's F5 and F9. Got it. Game shaved. If anybody is wondering why I always say game shaved like that, that's from Flashback in the 3DO. That's this bizarro... Okay, Haggard, 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 Haggard. Oh shit, inventory full. Inventory full. Nah, nah. Okay, there's a slot. There's a slot. Um, I want that. No, I don't. That's just a torch. We've got plenty of those. Let's go. Hey, Mike. Okay, C cross is. Um, yeah, that was. Yeah, that's why we quick save. Okay, let's just reload. Hey, thanks for the ten bucks, Mike. Um. 
Yeah, by the way, if anybody here has not uh, has not done it yet, you can type exclamation mark donate to get the donation page. You can type exclamation mark save to learn more about uh, Suicide Awareness Voices of Education, the uh, charity that we're supporting in this event. I don't think that fire spell is down there, um, is going to be useful for us, but now we know it's down there. Um... Yes, thanks both. You'd probably be fine if you went straight to the healing crystal. Okay, um... I don't know if we need that, though. Do we need that scroll? We specialize in fire spells, so yes. Alright, let's grab it, let's grab it. If I do one thing this playthrough... Okay, you can suck it, I don't care. What is that? That's a sword. Where's the healing crystal? Ah! Welcome to Save Scumming. My name is Old School J. Today we're going to Save Scum. No, that's every day on this stream. There's definitely a way to turn that off. Okay, noted. Yeah, I sh probably should have figured. Um, let's see. Can we pull out this? Hmm. Just drop it. Drop it. There. That did not do it. What does this do? That? Didn't I get a sword? Yeah, we've got a sword here. Haggard's got one. Pull that out. Mage's entrance, okay. I'm totally going by, like, first-person shooter logic here, like Rise of the Triad for DOS. You know, sometimes closing a door will activate a puzzle or deactivate one of these things. Um... Yeah, Haggard definitely has a sword here. Here it is. Swordy, swordy, sword. He's got a long sword. Should I be looking, like, I know there are loose bricks and walls. Which is kind of obnoxious. However... Yeah, huge shout-outs to Seacross, by the way. Well, shout-outs to everybody who's involved in this event, but a huge shout-out to Seacross, who um, ingested a torturous amount of hot sauce right before I went live here. It was amazing. I mean, it was amazing to watch. It probably wasn't that amazing for him. Okay, yeah, that is not what... Whatever that is doing. What's what's in my inventory here? We've got a chunk of ham. Uh, Let's see. A sack. We've got a sack. We've got some heavy pants. Um, I could swap out these light pants for these heavy pants. I don't know if that was worth doing. Okay, no, that way lowers our evasion score down. Maybe we want evasion a little bit more. Some cloaks. Somebody, somebody is going to have to take like an hour to manage all our inventory. Cost a torch on the floor in that hall. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I think there was something on the floor in that hallway. Yeah, there was. Okay. Um, let's see. This is a lot less frantic than I was expecting. We've got a slice of snail here. A grim cap. A delicious mushroom commonly found in damp under underground caves. The legendary Master Chef of Northampton Palace. I almost read that as Master Chief. Values them highly as an important ingredient in his finest soups. Noted. Uh, we've got a note. I preserved some of my extra herder caps in the nearby room. I'm not quite sure what the exact sequence of events that opened the door. That sounds like something we've already done. Um, I'm doing shrooms now. Yep. Hey, thanks so much for the donation log. I'm smiling while I watch Old School Jane's signature earnesty. 
Thank you. Um, let's see. I'm gonna gold key here. Okay, that's that's useful. I should have been paying attention to what Seacross was sticking in our inventories here. Or his own inventory in this case. Slime bell. Huh. Interesting. Where's that? Could that be up here? Some characters are getting hungry. Okay. What's which one which one is the hunger meter? Oh, that's the that's the flashing leg of ham here. Well, we've got some snail meat. I was under the impression that food was very very scarce and to preserve it. We got a wooden box. Holy shit, we got a wooden box. Best inventory item ever. Food. Okay, let's let's feed some characters here. So, who wants some snail meat? Haggard, you want some snail meat, right? Uh, how do I Ah, there we go. Um, nom, 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 nom. um, who else has some snail meat? Uh, let's see. Thea's got the wooden box. That's good to know. Um, okay, you can eat that one. And... There. Okay, nobody's hungry. I accomplished something. You put snail meat in the box. Oh, nice. Use on red, yellow food bars, not on green. Um, okay, noted. So here we have... A very, very low food bar. I'm not going by color. Uh, there's snail meat in the box. Let's just use these loose pieces right now and free up some inventory slots. There we go. I think, how's Seacross doing? Seacross seemed to have hogged all the food on his turn, so... Did I de-equip my glowy thing? Um, okay. Hey, Mother, uh, Mother Seraph. Moth Seraph. Welcome back. Use a light spell. Okay, let me just look up. I've got the, uh... Yeah, I've got the cheat sheet that DC Beeler so kindly provided up here. So, let's see if I can... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. Bring up the... Okay. There. See, this isn't all that hard. I can play Dungeon Crawler. It may not be a hover car game, but... Um, okay. Mage's Entrance. Yep, we've already established that. Hello. There's a pit. What's down the pit? How, how did how did I open that pit? Do I need to go back there? Which way is that? That's out here. Uh, Halls of Fuego. We haven't been there yet either. That's a that's a blank spot in the map. Use the staff for spells. You don't need the hand. Okay, got it. So I can right click. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, so let's get our daggers back. Abracadabra... Abra... I, I totally screwed up a joke because I forgot how to speak. Abracadaggers. If you're in chat, I don't think you are. I haven't seen you yet, but uh, there you go. That one's for you. Now let's pick that up and put that back. I don't see any reason not to. Can I, can I do anything with this? Can I, like, hang a rope from it and just yank it or something? Pull it? Stick a crowbar in there and leverage it? Hovercar dungeon game! Hell yeah! I would be down for that. You guys know that. How about this? Can I yank this chain? Stop yanking my chain! Um... Halls of fire. Great halls of fire. 
Where, where, am, where am I now? So where we're trying to do, I'm trying to open, I'm trying to shut off this uh, fire spitter down the mage's staff, uh, mage's hallway. Sequences, okay. That just closes a door. What happens if I stick a torch in here? Um, can I just wreck it with this hammer? Have any torches? If you play a tank game, would I say Abraham's Cadabra? Yes. Broadhead arrow. Poison bomb. Blood drop. Blood drop. Blood drop. Blossom. Say that five times fast. Short bow. Fire bomb, hand axe, frost bomb, slime bell, tar bead, notes. This stupid note weighs 100 grams. Get out. I'll have to watch my back more carefully. The spiders are everywhere. I haven't slept well lately. There's an echo in my dreams that's too faint to hear. I wonder what it is trying to tell me. Okay. Milk reed. Blood, blood drop blossom, blood drop blossom, blood drop blossom, blood drop blossom. God damn it! Um. Is okay. Does somebody want to tell me? Like, feel free to give a hint or backseat or whatever. Or just tell me what the like what the puzzle that I'm trying to solve in here is. Are we just trying to shut off that fire spitter right now? Hello. It's a spider. Um. Can I range attack it from here? That would be nice. You! Oh, whoa! Are you... No, it's not a spider. It's a giant enemy crab. Are you going to go down there? Okay, let's kite this guy a little bit. I'm getting backed into somewhere where I don't really want to be. What, what do you mean, miss? I don't want more close-range weapons. This guy is just doing nothing here. Come on, suck it. Eat your, eat your whatever. I don't know why I backed up there. Miss. I think I just misclicked. There we go, level up. Take our uh, daggers back. Explore floor, get past fire spitters, and then open a path to the teleporter maze. Noted. Um, does anybody have a bow? You do. Okay, strong bat has a bow. Sorry, Thea has a bow. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, where did that thing come from? Because we've already already been down here, haven't we? This is the hallway of the fire splitter that I've been trying to get down. As long as you can draw an enemy into a 2x2 two two area, you're basically invincible in combat if you just circle strafe. Yeah. That's good That's good to know. How are we doing? 425, I've made no progress yet. Halls of Fire. There's the Mage's Entrance, so that is where we were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's actually more square dancing. Um, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Can can I can I just get back up there? Where are we? Here's here's stairs. Try exploring this floor. Can you like can you do that? Like just go back and forth between floors, or is that like a permanent thing? 
Because that didn't seem to, like, that didn't damage us all that much. Seacross leveled up here, so I want to... I'm going to keep going for a bit. If I have to reload, I have to reload. But let's put some more into... Axes! Fuck yeah! Um, and uh, maybe some into athletics and armors. Probably can't skip this way, but there might be good loot. Yeah, noted. So... I guess I'll try and get back to this stairwell here. That looks like it should get, get us back up. Hello, loot. Peasants, breeches, and sandals. Those don't look great. I bet I'm, I'm going to guess we have better gear than that already, right? Like nomad boots, leather greaves. Leather boots. Titan greaves. A sand mole hide vest. Pointy shoes? Oh my god, we got pointy shoes. And, oh, you're not wearing anything here. You can have some sandals. Plus one protection. Why not? Wait, Kilo. Better than barefoot. Just ask uh, anybody you see in the uh, downtown core of Auckland wearing no shoes. Hey, Ruby, welcome in. Welcome to Save and Raid 2 Dungeons. Great to see you. How are you doing? So I don't need that. Where am I? One thing I am good at in this type of game is map navigation, so I might be missing things and screwing up. Hello. What is that, a scroll? You can have the scroll. Fireball! Hey, I'm doing good. Thanks, Ruby. Great to see you. Uh, hello. Here's a teleporter. Um, okay, let's leave a note here. Hey, editor. Welcome in. The save and rate is going strong. Let's see where... I should have quick saved. We are back here on level 6. Noted. So I'm going to change this note. And I'm going to quick save. Game shaved. We're right back here in the Halls of Fuego. So that was a completely uh, intended and useful diversion there. I got some sandals and a scroll and fought a thing and leveled up Seacross. Uh, he is nah, not hungry. Suck it out. That sounded dirty. Check the scroll. Okay, which scroll was it? What was this one? Scroll of Poison Shield. Scroll of Poison Bolt. The gate of Iron shall open if you take your time and rest in the place where the danger, where the dragons gaze. That sounds like a, a Spinal Tap song. Um... the scroll. Westmost. Oh, there's two, two different types of scrolls here. I guess this is a, a text scroll and that's a magic scroll. Okay, noted. How do you turn this thing off? Like, I'm so tempted just to cheese it and run down there. Although we've already established that that works disastrously poorly. There's a rock on the switch, you think. Okay, let's, let's go back here. Magic scrolls are garbage once you learn them. Noted. It's the torch you tossed in the switch. Oh, dumb move brought to you by me. The switch for this thing, for this fireball shooter. Um, where are we? Heading into there. Interestingly, we can see one square past this now. Can I throw something like that? Looks like a switch there. What happens if I throw a rock on that? 
I am aware that there's a soft lock coming up that we need to rock for. Somebody tell me if I'm yeah. getting near it. Did that just go once? Apparently there's a soft lock. We're not near it yet, actually. It's on level 9. Uh, Warlock posted something about that. Apparently there's a soft lock where if you don't have a rock, you can't progress. Would that have opened something else? That's a good question. It didn't shut that off. It didn't close the pit here, which is what I was hoping it would do. Man, you really have to pay attention in this game, which is not, not exactly easy to do when you're streaming. Um... 31, half an hour in. Quick save here. I'm going to do some real saves too. As a matter of fact, let's do a real save right now. I'm putting something in an alcove changes something. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. What what happens if I just put, like, a box in here? Actually, this box probably has a bunch of her shit in it. Um, oh, there's all her torches. Okay, noted. Let's put a torch in here. Get rid of that hammer that nobody can use. Okay, hammer is paperweight. Got it. Let's, let's get rid of the hammer. Slightly disappointed in that, because uh, hammer is my last name, but... Warhammer. Required skill. Mace is three. We should have, we totally should have got that. Um, okay. Did that do anything? Can't sell any items, right? No, this isn't Diablo. Going back and selling your loot at the town hall. Uh, I need another spell of light. That is, uh... There's another alcove. Stick a torch in here. Must be some hidden button or switch nearby. Yeah, I want to stick around in this area because this is where I've been trying to go. It's down here past the mage's entrance. So I don't know how far back this is going to be. Here's the, the teleporter back from level 7. Um, no description. That's useful. I don't know. And I like I, I played a little bit in and like, I saw one of those um, loose rocks in the in the brick, but I don't have any idea how to recognize that easily without, like, meticulously examining every single brick. Get rid of that. That no description should say this way to crystal. Okay, got it. Um, secret buttons are only on clean walls. Okay. That just closes a door. What happens if I... Can I, can I close this door and then close that pit? Maybe this door? Whoop! Inside the window there, arg. Hmm, nope. Hey, so we're half an hour in, so give the little save spiel right now. Hey, anybody who's come in here who doesn't know what's going on, welcome to Save and Raid 2 Dungeons. We're playing Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2. We've got 44 amazing and cool streamers lined up. And we're doing a relay marathon in uh, support of SAVE, uh, Suicide Awareness Voices of Education, which is a registered charity uh, dedicated to raising awareness and providing education and resources to individuals and organizations about uh, how to prevent suicide and how to, um, and, uh, well, suicide prevention, also just mental health awareness in general. It's a really, really good cause. Thank you for that, Geneva. Um, and yeah, I encourage you to donate if that's, uh, if you've been affected by mental health in the past or know somebody who has or just 
want to want to put some money towards a really good cause that's really um that's actually critical right now you know with all this stuff going on being taking care of your mental health is of utmost importance so And also, I don't know what I'm doing in this game. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm trying to do, or what I'm trying to accomplish. Let me, let me put it that way. Uh, I did just level up ABC. There's a spellcaster. Um, Let's put another point into spellcraft. Do we want any of these others? I'm just going to put them into fire magic and spell magic. Did you set this to tablet mode? No, I didn't. I'm right-clicking everything. Get out of the dungeon! Get to the chopper! Um... Lowest. What, is, what does this do? I really, really want to oh, close that pit. See? Right there. We have to be able to get through there, because there's more dungeon out here that we haven't explored yet. Also, I want my rock back. That was my pet rock. It was my favorite. It does seem to be some randomly spawning enemies. How are we doing on that uh, 80 buck donation? Have and Has anybody donated 80 bucks yet? Or have uh, people pooled together? Jump in the pit? Let's see if we can come up the other side. Yeah, I know how to get back now from here. So if I jump in the pit and get there, I can get back to um, where we were. So maybe that's not a bad idea. I'm going to quick save first. Ah! It's more unexplored stuff a little north, I think. Yeah. This is past the pit. This is where I was trying to go. Uh, this is here. There's still the maze. Are we ready for that yet? Whoa, boy. I'm not ready for any, for mazes. Um, okay, so we're here. So I haven't even explored. If I turn around... Nope, I have. Wait. Clicky, clicky. Do I right-click or left-click on hidden rocks to uh, activate them? Clicky, left-click. Come on, doesn't that brick look like I can push it in? Look at this lighting, by the way. Look at look at the reflections and stuff on here. This isn't a, the most advanced game engine in the world, but it looks so good. Especially the real-time shadows. I'm actually genuinely impressed. Hello. Rick said, nah. Yeah, I know, right? Can I can I pull this? Like I I could just see flailing a chain around and whipping things with it to be useful. Look, it's just on some hooks there. I could totally just get that chain off and whip it at people. Hi, look at that shadow. Look at that. Suck it. Use ice for long range. Okay, noted. Go full on Castlevania, yeah. Looks like there's something. Nah, there's just that peasant's cloak down here. Um, okay, so I haven't been. Here's somewhere I haven't been yet. This seems to be a little, like, self contained area, too. I'm not sure if you can get here from the regular part of level 7. So, this might be somewhere useful. What happens if I step on that? Nothing. Hmm. Is that something? Grasping at straws here a little bit. This is another pit. That's that room with the pits that I fell down the first time. We ended up here. Hi. Axe. 
I'm not gonna make the- can I ask, ask you a question joke? I'm not gonna make it. I've already thought about making it, I'm not going to. I like how the combat is kind of real-time here. At least, like, it's not strictly turn-based, which I appreciate. Take that. It's the kind of basic stuff the game eases you into at the start. It's inherently harder to recognize stuff like switches in the save and raid scenario. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely having that. Um. There's the teleporter. So I haven't been... That's another pit. That's another pit, down to level 8. So, and yeah, this this whole thing is a... Uh, whoa, 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 it doesn't pause you in the auto map, noted. Um, this whole thing is a little self-contained area here. That, uh... Seems to be, like, just a little offshoot of where we were. In level 6. So I think there's going to be a solution down here. I don't know where it is. What is what is that? Let's go see what that is. Oh, hi. What, what are these? Tar beads. Here, Haggard can have some. Haggard's getting hungry, too. Known for its potent healing properties. Okay, who needs healing? Guess I can't just feed it to him. Um... Hi, me cat. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the resub. Those are for crafting in the mortar. Okay. Things I am not going to learn how to do right now include crafting in the mortar. Um, somebody has the box of snail meat. I think it was, uh... Yeah, here? Yeah. So, you're hungry. You can have some snail meat. I wish you could just feed people directly. And you're hungry. You can also have some snail meat. Yeah, hey, thanks for that, Ruby. Yeah, anybody who's here, this is a save and raid. You can donate to a very, very... Uh, excuse me, dark. Beneficial, charitable organization by uh, hitting that exclamation mark donate button and clicking the link there. Um, this uh, this event is Save and Raid. This is in benefit of... Or this is to support suicide awareness and uh, mental health awareness and suicide prevention. Um, what's in the sack? More torches. What happens if I just put a torch down here? This place is really dark. I mean, it's a dungeon. I think that's where we fell down. Um... Yeah, and how are we doing on those donations right now? I see 4,168.70. You guys are incredible. That's almost uh, almost to the point we reached in Save and Raid last year, which was only a 24-hour event. So we're going to blow this thing out of the water. Um, once again, if I... If we hit 5,180, no, 5,860 bucks, I will do a tutorial on how to how to use compressors, limiters, noise gates to make your tune up your audio in OBS and make it sound super nice. Save and go deeper. We have to go deeper. I'm gonna save here first. Um, let's do real save. And we still got time for an 80 80 buck donation or a pool, a bunch of pools. If you guys want to. Um, pool a whole bunch of donations together to make 80 bucks. It doesn't matter if you've already submitted them. I will go and take five minutes and roll out our pizza for pizza dough for dinner. That comes up in the next five minutes. I heard a Discord notification here. Can I check that? Uh, it's on the Cringe Forest Discord. It's probably not that important right now. Oh, where's my stream manager? No, where's chat? There it is. Okay, 
So here's the pit. Here's to pit. Pit down to level 8. That is, whoops, directly behind us. We're going down the pit. Ah! <laughs> that scream is so good. That would be a good stream sound effect. What's this? Baked maggot. Mm, that sounds lovely. Maggot can have it. And a boiled crag beetle. That sounds probably actually not too bad. You can totally eat bugs. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'm going to reload. That is not what I meant to do. Although I would like to know where that teleport goes. Um, okay, where are we? Where are we? Did I see baked Megan? No, I said baked maggot. This guy. Here, Haggard can have the baked maggot. Uh, ABC can have the boiled crag beetle. And there's a teleport. Um, we may not want to restore from here. I'm just going to write, do we want to be... Let's see where that goes. Okay, that teleports us back up to level 8. That is really good to know. Right past the pit where we fall down. So here, I can even do a little loop here. I can go down that pit. Go in this teleport. Go down that pit. Go in this teleport. So yeah, I'm going to reload there so, so as to not take a whole pile of damage that we need, didn't need to, but... So who's who's on after me, by the way? Is it Cobra who's up? Oh, hello. I don't know what that is. Frost bomb. That seems useful. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave us on level nine here. If Cobra does not know, yeah, Cobra. Okay, you are still here. If you don't know how to get back up to level eight, it's this teleporter right here, and then you can get back from level eight. You can get back up to level 7. Come on, can I flip this page, please? Flip page. Whoop. I did not mean to leave that note there. Okay, and then you can get back to level 6 from level 7 here. So you can get all the way back up. You can take that one teleporter on level... God dang it. Ah! Looks like we got the 80. Okay, sweet. Hey, we got the 80. Hey, Tonda, welcome in. Welcome to Save and Raid 2 Dungeons. So as soon as my, uh... By the way, I'm kind of... I wish somebody had done show off a CRT, but as soon as my CRT clock here says 4.55, I'm going to uh, upload the save. And then, uh... Yeah, we're going to go over to the kitchen. We're going to roll out some pizza dough for dinner. Here's a door. I'm also going to reload this game quickly. Because I just mashed stuff on the keyboard. It's really annoying that you can't click the corners of the pages here to flip pages, but yeah. Okay, so Cobra, here's how to get back to level 6, which is where where I started this from. We are now on level 8. Um, this is a teleport back to level 7. That will drop you right here. Then you can go over here and take this teleport back to level 6, and that'll drop you in here somewhere. And this is what I was trying to do. I was trying to turn off this... Uh, this uh, fireball thing in here. So, done eating for today. Oh, no. Um, so let's get out of that. Let's just take a look down here and see what's on uh, level uh, 8 for a minute. No, know there's a lot of dudes down here. By dudes, I mean enemies. They're all behind a cage. Oh, look at that. Somebody's put them in the zoo where they belong. But I can pick up this frost bomb. And what's the, what is what is that? 
Blood drop blossom. Okay. So we've got a, uh, a frost bond. And a blood drop blossom. Here it is. Rose in places where great battles have been fought. Witches of the north use them in dark rituals. Noted. You can stick stuff through the bars to put them on floor switches. Okay. All right, let's try that. Let's try that quickly. Um, stuff a torch through there. No, 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 no. Can I take that back? Can I take it back? I don't want to fight those guys. <laughs> Noted. Noted. You might release many bugs. Yeah, we, uh, we, 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 we figured that out. Thanks, Mr. V. We got over 400, 4,200, so you get low lights in your hair. Nice. That is awesome. By the way, thank you so much for the 80 buck donation, Laura. Thanks for making pizza time. Um, yeah, I'm glad we hit that. I'm so glad we hit that. Guys, we are going to, we're going to rock this out of the park. We are going to, uh, we're, we're going to blow our, uh, total last year out of the water. And once again, if we, re if we hit 5,860, I will make a little tutorial up on how to route audio in OBS and how to use compressors, noise, noise gates, limiters in order to make your stream sound hopefully better than mine. Cause I always manage to screw it up, but, uh, yeah, I know all the theory. I just never get it right in practice. I don't think there's anything to do down here. I don't see anything left. Seven minutes. Got it. So here's what we've accomplished. Nothing on this floor. We, we, we went down here. We explored this floor, discovered there's a teleporter back to level six. And then there's a pit down to level eight. This area of level eight is this little self-contained thing that we can't really get out of. Here's something. No, I just put a note there. There's a zoo full of these guys back there. There's probably something back here. This this might be the next area of attack. And then back on level six, we are... Whoops, we're still trying to shut this shut this fire spitter down so we can get that scroll and whatever else is down there. All right. Hey, Galara, thanks for being here. I'm going to save the game. I'm going to hand it over to Cobra. Not load, not load. That was the wrong button. And we're going to quit. I'm going to upload these saves. Uh, we're going to do this live. I have turned off the pane that shows everyone's email, so... Um, oh, do, do, you guys didn't see that. There's Cobra's folder. Whoop, no, I don't want to upload to Cobra's. I want to upload to my folder. Documents. Almost human. Legend of Grimrock. Grab all these save files. Not grab Grimrock CFG, because that has my 4x3 resolution in it and my uh, weird control settings. Let's upload that. And let's go roll out some pizza dough. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose the microphone, so this is, this is going to be a bit quiet. But just wanted to say, you guys all rock. You are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks for having me on. Um, and uh, yeah, by the way, this is what I was going to show off for show off a CRT. And also I had... Sorry about the mess in here. Those guys back there, ready to go. But yeah, sorry about the mess in this apartment. Anyway, hey DC, you guys are seriously awesome. Thanks to Havoc and Bogle and uh, Radgrid for organizing this event. And thanks to everybody who's been here. Let's go roll some pizza dough out, and then I'll raid us over to Cobra's stream and say hi to her and help her help her get through this. Oh.
Okay, I need both hands to uh, hands to finish that off there. I kind of folded uh, folded over a little bit. Um, that is really hard to do one handed. Let's let's go over to c- see Cobra. Um, <laughs> Ten dollar pizza is the better choice. Yeah. <laughs> LGG is all over this. Lady Game Guy, I have done that before. I've made lots of pizzas, and I will be posting the result of that in the Save and Raid Discord uh, tonight after I'm done cooking it and whatever. There is going to be pineapple. I'm warning you guys right now. Um, but uh, yeah, that's going to be a nice one. Anyway, is Cobra, is Cobra online? Okay, I'm assuming she's online. Let's go over there. Invalid username, Cobra Commanda. Really? By the way, I I think this is the first time I've gotten to raid Cobra Commanda, because she has raided me a few times, but she's always on before I am. So, uh, yeah, let's go over there. Say hi to Cobra Commander. Drop some, drop some dogs in her chat. She's awesome. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for being part of Save and Raid. This event's been amazing. I've, I've been, I'm proud to be part of it. It was a little bit of jank. And also, don't forget to tune in. Midnight tonight, uh, we're, Fractal Mike, Mike and I are having a chat with the game devs. We're going to talk tech talk about the game. It's going to be good fun. See you all there. Have a good one. Bye for now.